Yes, welcome to Green Gold Farm Initiative channel uh, where we focus on sustainable organic farming. My name is Dennis Aine, an engineer by profession, but also a farmer by passion. I love so much organic farming. Yes, uh, in today's video, uh, we are going to share with you how we installed our irrigation system. And also we are going to show you how much it costed us to install the solar powered irrigation system. As you are aware, uh, these days it is very hard to predict the weather conditions. So sometimes uh, it can rain or sometimes it may not. And uh, as you know, even when it has rained, you can't predict how long it is going to take or how long it is going to, sh uh, to be sunny. So as such, this is leading to so many huge losses to the farmers. In one of my previous videos uh, titled uh, how to avoid disastrous calamities at your farm. You'll note that from my very orchard, the fruits we are really looking so malnourished. They are so yellowish. They are actually small in size and there are very few on the trees. This was as a result of dry spell, which actually, because we had some long weeks where it would actually be hot for the whole week. We have a good weather here, but sometimes it can also be dry for sure. Well, as Green Gold Farm Initiative, we are so lucky to be blessed and to receive a support from my dearest Mama Carora. Thank you so much. And uh, as such, we are able now to install this irrigation system. Before the implementation of this irrigation system, of course we had to go on ground and we did some kind of survey to identify the different heights of the, of the farm. Uh, because we wanted to know uh, the lowest part of the farm and also the highest part of the farm. Of course this would help us to identify where the well would be and also where our storage tank would be. So, and as such, all this data was to enable us be able to sit down and of course compute uh, using the available data of the rain, rainfall in the area and uh, of course so many other factors that we looked at. At the end of the day we are able actually to calculate and we found out that for the entire orchard of uh, 800 trees we needed about 6,000 liters of water and that is on a dry, a dry, sunny day. Well, having known how much water we needed for our orchard, we now proceeded to excavate the well, which would be our source of water. And now from there, we had to install our solar panels onto our structure, which we had constructed earlier. And these were four solar panels, each at 360 watts. And this was actually uh, able to pump this water from uh, our source to our reservoir without any difficulty. Then we proceeded uh, to dig and lay the pipes. Of course, the main pipes that was picking water from our source then the distribution pipes that takes water to the orchard. And of course, uh, later we had to do our, our hydrants. We had to, lay our, to install and lay our hydrants. And uh, of course, the type of system that we are using is actually called drug horse irrigation system. Of course, our first uh, choice was a drip irrigation system. But then because of uh, limited resources or the funds, we had to we had to settle for drug horse uh, 
irrigation system. How much did it cost to install the irrigation system on our five acre farm? Among the most expensive uh, components was the submissive pump, which actually costed us uh, two million Ugandan shillings. And of course, the solar panels also, because they are four each at 550,000, then the submissible cable, uh, 500, then the standalone panel structure, uh, where the solar panels were mounted, it costed us um, 1.4 million Ugandan shillings. Then, of course, the plumbing uh, fittings, all those assorted ones, they costed us 900. Also, the storage, of course, the most expensive component is the plastic tank of a capacity 10,000 liters. And, of course, with its uh, tank base, which is one meter high. Now, that one in total costed us uh, 5 million 590,000 Ugandan shillings. The other costs uh, for installation, uh, the labor, uh, there, of course, you're working with people, you have to pay them. The whole irrigation system costed us 24 million Ugandan shillings. And uh, if you translate that to US dollars, uh, that would be. 6,740 US dollars. And so that's how much it costed us for the drug horse irrigation system. And like I said, we hope to advance to a drip irrigation system where each tree has its point. And so maybe I can also share with you because we have a quotation for a drip irrigation system, so that may be for some of you who have the capacity to straight away go for a drip irrigation system. Now, this is where the difference is. You can see that uh, here you're adding in the main supply from reservoir, the, the irrigation sub, sub main lines, of course, uh, black drip line, among others. So, all this it will total to uh, uh, 9.6. 3 million Ugandan shillings. And then, of course, for reservoir uh, that we are talking about, the tank and, uh, of course, the stand and some other accessories there. So for it, it will now total to 7.5. Now everything here totals to 31,839,000 Ugandan shillings. Drip irrigation is the best and it's the most recommended one. However, as per now, that's what we could afford to, to, to put on the ground. So we are using a drug horse pipe, a uh, drug horse uh, where is able to cover 30 meters from the, the, the hydrant point. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video so useful. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.